What is up, you goddamn plebeians? It's your boy, Neil, with the Balding Plebs, and I'm joined here tonight by one of my best friends. Dan Van. Yo, Dan, what's up, bro? Uh, I got this video I want you to watch that I've been asking you to watch for the past, I don't know, two years. Yeah, it's, it, is it. it is true. It is true. He has been so, asking me to watch it. So I pulled out my gun tonight, and I put it against his head, and I said, you're watching this, or you're getting a blicky between the... <laughs> In the brain box. So, so, are you ready to do this? Well, here's the thing, right? I am, uh, I am actually excited for this, and I, I do remember you mentioning this to me. And everything he's saying is true. He's been telling me to watch this for well over a year now. So, this is the Astartes Project from Siama Peterson. Uh, it's the original version, full edits. This is all the parts together. This is about what, 13 minutes, Dan? 13 minutes, four seconds. Of this video. Okay, so basically what this is, is one guy started this. He's a huge Warhammer fan, but he also, it, As you know, am I. based on watching it, he probably um, had some cinematography schooling or something like that, and yeah. also knows how to really render some really good CGI. So he puts this together by himself, and I started watching this like five years ago. The first, the first part, it's like in five parts. This video is all the parts put together, so we don't have to click next, next, next. Nice, 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 nice. Anyway, the first like three parts are like a minute long, and after each one, it's like I want more. the 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 visual storytelling is amazing, and uh, I I think it's incredible what one person can do. At and uh, we'll talk more about what has happened since the project has been fully finished after just so, watching it. So, do you know? where the different parts end like by watching this it'll be i think it'll be pretty clear okay because i want to i want to give thoughts on each one if that's a possibility yeah we can do that cool and uh yeah you'll just and if if you if you recognize where it's at um just pause and then we'll start whatever second we're on yeah i'm at seven seconds i'm at seven seconds we're on in three two one go Love all those ads. Okay. Like the ship. Make sure you have it on like 4K. Yeah, I got it. I got it high enough. These so, Marines. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, dude. So far I'm into this, man. You can't you can't do He's this to me. Praying. He's praying over his gun. Uh, yeah, which makes sense. With the tabernacle tobacco. Do you ever play Warhammer, Dan? Tabletop game? Uh, end of part one. Pause. Okay, I got a starts on the uh, starties on the screen with the yep. guy's face. Fifty seconds. Um, that was it. That was part one five years ago. Yeah, I can see why people would have a total hard on for that. That was like, that's the kind of shit that like you would want to show, for like a video game, like to launch yeah. to like to launch your video game. That's the kind of stuff you'd want to show. I saw that, and I'm like, how much is a starter kit, and how do I start painting these things? Yeah, well, the funny part is, Lynn was in town two weeks ago. We literally just built a Tyranid Parasite of Mortrex. Just, sounds awesome. Yeah, like, so when you when you mentioned this to me, I was like, you know what? I'm on a Warhammer kick anyway. Well, let's do it. I liked it. I really I really like when it shows, you know, it's the, the, the klaxons are going off. The badass space marines are walking through. They're gigantic. You see the like the little normal humans like <laughs> trying to turn sideways in the hallway so that they can get past. They don't yeah. give a f, dude. No, dude, they don't. And, and then it cuts to like just these little scenes, these really zoomed in scenes, like the one where he's got his gun on his lap and he's got his hand over it with a little like smoky uh, thing, yeah, smoking tabernacle or whatever that is. That yeah. in itself is a story for me. Oh my God! Did that unlock some shit in my brain? That I was like, "That is amazing." The the fact that you can pray to a weapon oh, to yeah. make it more accurate or whatever. You know what I mean? Like whatever. Anyway, you ready? ready for the next part? All right, three, two, one, go. Okay, so we're dropping in. Little uh, space belt action. Yeah. Okay. All right.
Dip in the distance there. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that. They just kind of bore into the ship. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What do we got here? Some shit pickles? All right. <laughs> I love the, the, yeah, I love the graphicness of it. Very, very good. I like how the bullets hit with a very hard, like, smuck. It's something that most games seem to kind of miss. Hey, that was part two. Pause it. Oh yeah, I did. I did. I did. I got the big okay, where, dude. Where I got the. Bi I get. I'm at 202. I got the big dude okay, on the I'm screen a... with a couple guys with weapons in front of him. Okay, so slams into the ship. Bores in with this, lasers. Like, yeah. You see, like the predator vision. Yeah, yeah basically. And they freaking just tear into him. And the way that the camera pans behind the one guy. Yeah. It's just so cool. The thuds yeah. of the the shots and everything. Yeah. Yeah. This is right up my fucking alley as far as stories go there is a book series called galaxy's edge yeah. that's about these basically space marines and it is so cool to see it rather than just imagine it yeah well you know i talk we talk about this all the time when we do reactions and stuff video games get like gun sounds wrong so much yeah. sometimes they're i mean and sometimes they get them right but man, some of the guns, they sound like little pop cap pistols or machine guns. These things are going off. They, they got a nice sound to them. And when they hit, they hit with a thud. They hit with some velocity, with some, with some, with some power. And I really, I really like it. I, I love the second part. Very, very, very intense, I guess is how I would describe it. Well, he tears those, he tears those rebels apart. Yeah. The, like just one bullet blows a guy in two. And his guts come flying out. Right. It's like, oh my god. It's yeah. amazing. Well, they're supposed to be powerful. All right, part three, ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. Okay, well, this will probably be a total clusterfuck. De Nova? Yeah, that's what I was actually kind of thinking. Here we go. You just had to stop shoot a few guys. Jesus, they got powdered, bro. Oh yeah, I love this guy. You're like, oh, are these the ranger snipers? <laughs> Get their super armor on. Okay, bring out the big gun. Yeah, we're not playing games anymore. They got so Last cannons? Yeah. Gatling last cannons or some shit? Plasma pistol, let's go! <laughs> I love it. Okay, that's the end of that part. Pause. I'm at 345. Okay. Wasn't that what amazing how the... went through the smoke? Fuck, dude! That was awesome! I, I love it because, like, it took me a second to recognize what the gun was. And when you said big guns, I'm like, well, one of the biggest guns in Warhammer is the last cannon. And it I'm was just, amazing. And I'm like... Okay. <laughs> go back to, um... Go back to 310. 310. 310. And we're going to play it from there again. And these la laser guys yeah. shoot through their own guys to get this Space Marine. Yeah. They're like, this is it. We have to get this guy. Yeah. Let's watch it again. All and right. then I also want you to pay attention to the smoke grenade and how the plasma. I, yeah, I saw I saw that. We'll watch it, though. So you said 307, right? 310. 310. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. 
uh, chapter 3, page 310. All right, 310. 3, 2, 1, go. Oof. Oh, yeah, they did shoot through their own guys. They didn't even get him, though. Is that a flat? Amazing lighting. Amazing. Damn, dude. And we'll just go right into the next part. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that was awesome. It was so good. Okay, these guys are like, fuck our little guys. These guys are like, fucked up. These guys are like, bro, we might get in some trouble. Uh, ooh, I like the spinal. Oh, I do too. Yeah. I like, the, I like his little baton he's got. That's pretty pog. Reload. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, looks like these guys have some psionics or something. Uh-huh. They're shooting missiles at them. Get them! Run. His steps are so heavy. Is he Darth Vader? Bionics, bruh. Yeah, but... Uh oh. Oh, he got through! Brother, I am fucked here. <laughs> Business as usual. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we just do Love that all the it. time. It, yeah, it's like, we don't even care. Let's go fucking kill these guys. My goodness. We pause it? Okay, pause. Pause. I'm at 44. I'm at 544. I'm at 544 late. Oh, it was okay. great. It was great. It was absolutely fantastic. I love how they did the psionics. I absolutely... I enjoyed how I enjoyed how they made the Space Marines feel vulnerable yeah. without them actually dying. Yeah. I completely disagree. You know, you know, these guys are fucking tanks, dude. Yeah, but dude, the come way on, he man. Was running, boom, 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 and like you just like it felt. Weighty, two, two hearts, you know? three, four lungs. I mean, what do you expect, dude? I know it, dude. They're huge. And um, the way that they come in and he's got that knife and then the guy gets distracted and his knife comes even closer to his neck. It, it was is great. so cool. You're like, oh, he almost got him. When's he going to get him? When's he going to get him? You know, like, I, I like that. It was good. It was good. My God. My God. I, well, here's the thing, right? Like, I, I agree with you that the guys are tanks. Don't get me wrong. But I like when they show a little more human side of them. Because then I can believe in it even more. Yeah. But I, I, I do. I, I, and it just it just shows how beastly those other guys were. Those, the psionics <laughs> guys. So keep in mind, so that third part came out three years after the first part. Yeah. Like two or three years after the first part. Yep. And it was just like, this is amazing. We need more of this. Everyone in the comments section over the past three years are going, I need a movie like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the dude, he just takes his time and just does it right. Uh, it's it's very, it's it's wonderful. And what do you think about the storytelling? Storytelling's fine. There, there has been there, no words. There has been no words, but you understand that they're going to that that capsule. Yep. Okay, I'm ready. Ready. Three, two, one, play. Isn't 
Isn't that awesome? Oh yeah. The like the hanging. Whatever oh those Japanese shit. things are. Okay, I see it now. Personally, I think it should be a tunic. Now, who are these guys with the cone faces? No idea. Homie's got a cape. You know he's he's high up. Mm-hmm. There's old Red Eye. The so now we have a character we can follow, you know? Yep, yep, yep. He was in the battle. Uh-huh. Building something. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Daddy likes this. Me too. that when you pass a constitution check in D&D? &D. That's literally what just happened. So this orb... What the hell? Yeah, dude, it's like a ritual or something. This orb is the same orb that they have chained up in the other room. Ah. Or it's not the same orb, it's one of the orbs. Okay. So that I think they're trying to get to them or something. See how they got this one chained up? And it just is like... Some kind of hive mind shit or something? I think so. I think that like bright dot in the distance is where another one is. is? The other one is the one that just got stabbed. And I think this guy is connected with this orb and is like he can hear their conversation between the orbs. Oh, they got Kenny down there. It's like, oh fuck. <laughs> oh fuck, something went down. Send him off. Oh shit. Jesus Christ. No clue. What the hell? What 
the fuck? Pause? We can pause if you want. What the fuck? Just... Did you pause or no? I did, yeah. Okay. I'm at 11.32. Okay. What the fuck just okay. happened, dude? What do you remember? <laughs> I remember the thing looking like a, a creature or something or something. Wasn't hope... that wild? Dude, what the hell's going on, dude? You want to go back? I'm just trying to, like, wrap my head around it. So then all of a sudden, all these guys get pulled into it and, like, sucked into this orb. Okay, let's let's go back to uh, 9... 9.25. Okay. 9.25. Okay. So you should be seeing the dude with the red... Yeah. Red. Yep. Doing his little. Doing his little. Okay. So what I think is going on, I don't know anything about Warhammer lore, but I think this guy is like some sort of, uh, you know, like priest class or like a psyker or something. Yep. And he's connected with all these little uh, tables to mm -hmm. the orb that they have chained up, and I think they're trying to get to these orbs to for whatever reason. Do you know what I mean? Sure. And so he's linked with this orb, and basically able to hear what it's thinking and what it's saying or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Meanwhile, they're running this mission to this other orb. And then what happens is that other orb gets stabbed by those guys, right? Yeah. To sap it of its energy or whatever the fuck those those vibro knives were. Yeah. And then this guy goes into that trance where he can hear what's going on and what I imagine it is is like a call for help from the other one being like, dude, shit's gone shit. Uh, you have to betray these guys because maybe those orbs like allowed themselves to get captured so that they could know what these guys were doing all right i know that's a little too deep but whatever yeah you go really deep on this stuff you want to watch this back to the end of the fourth yes yes okay go three two one It's like he can hear the two talking. Yeah. Break your seal. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. And now this guy's corrupted. Well, no, he was telling them to get out. It's a librarian or what that is. No, it's not a librarian. What? Just come, around. just comes in. <laughs> they don't mess around. And this guy's like, homie, get out of there. Homie, get out of there. What? <laughs> Too late. Ah! <laughs> that is like beautiful and terrifying. Yeah. Holy shit. His whole team. Okay. So that like melted off his arm or some shit? Yeah. Him oh, did it re did it reverse it? Yes. What the fuck, dude? Blew his arm off. All right, let's go right in the next part. Yep. Okay, so we're in the Shadow Realm with Yugi and the rest of the homies. No missing an arm. Oh, shit. He's having a really bad day. Yeah. 
Okay, I like this. Is that it? Keep watching. That's it. That was the starties. I'm ashamed that it took me this long to watch it because that was absolutely fantastic. Wasn't that awesome? There was no, uh, there was no, no point there where I said, oh, this is boring. This is stupid. That was absolutely wonderful. Super distilled right to the action, yeah. right to the point. It was just so good. So well done. Now, this guy, <clears throat> that was the final part, and uh, he released it, and he's like, I want to continue doing this stuff. And then he did that little showcase at the end of, like, showing the different armies, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like, dude, this guy could do whatever the fuck he wants. He could do anything. Yeah. So this got so popular when it came, when the final part came out and everyone could watch it from start to finish. Um that uh is this where uh, i get what are they called Mach games, machine workshop games workshop games workshop uh they picked them up good they're like yeah yeah you're on our team now dog they would have been absolutely idiotic if so then on on his channel which is why I, when i was looking on his channel i'm like oh he took it off because now he's part of warhammer he's part of machine or game workshop good and i'm so happy for him you know deserves there's it never been go ahead he deserves it Half of Games yeah, Workshop's trailers don't look that good. Yeah, there's never been a better time uh, to be alive, in the sense of if you wanna if you wanna go up the ladder in any way, whether it's socially or monetarily or whatever, if you got talent and passion to do something and you showcase it like this, it's easy. Someone's you know gonna I mean? someone's gonna contact you and say, "Yo, dog, we want you to work with us." So that that was really cool. Um, so. At the end, he gets he gets uh, taken to the Shadow Realm by that weird. What was that thing? That that thing with all the ribbons. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that, with the face. Yeah, no idea. No idea. Um, so he gets taken to the Shadow Realm. Some octopus thing is around his arm, and then it does like lightning bolt, and you can see his whole team being connected by the other tendrils. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Then something comes and breaks that crystal thing in the middle, and they all get separated. He ends up in this death land, this hell land, whatever the fuck that is. Yeah, it's like all these old kings of old sitting on the thrones. Yep. You liked that. I loved it. That that got me rock hard, bro. It was so it, good. Okay, so what some think, and I, I mean, I don't know, because I don't know the lore. But you know where like all the demons come from in 40k? Yeah. That, I think it's the chaos. Chaos. What's it called the chaos. Yeah, realm? chaos. Yeah, like demons of Nurgle, Slanish, all those guys. Yeah. So, this, what I think, and I don't know. Uh, I thought I heard this somewhere, or read this somewhere, or whatever, but I, I don't know. But I could see this being an awesome, like, um, uh, I don't know what you call it, but like the beginning story of the chaos space marines and yeah. how they started yeah like this this ace group of space marines yeah. goes in yeah and then gets freaking sent to the chaos realm yeah and how does a space marine survive in the chaos realm well they kick ass and create an army is what they do and so now he's the one-armed general you know what yeah. i mean like yeah. so cool yeah very very cool uh super super impressive i really like this astartes uh this was this was ultra ultra impressive uh dan obviously thank you for bringing it to my attention this was this was absolutely insane dude uh again at the end of the day if you're into warhammer if you're into warhammer 40k or honestly if you're a fan of basically good storytelling without pretty much any words other than maybe a handful of gibberish you gotta check it out. I'm gonna have a link to it in the description, obviously, with the Bro, reaction. 
I, I showed this to my dad, yep. who knows nothing about games. Yep. He's just a, a regular Wisconsin hunter fisher guy. I can confirm this. He, after after watching this, he's like, is there more? <laughs> this is just a normal ass dude. Well, this is the like, kind of yeah, stuff my dad good. would like. Yeah, my dad would get into something like this, where it's just ass kicking, smash mouth, yep. killing. My dad would like it. Yeah. Yeah, so show your dad, guys. Yeah, show your, show your parents. I mean, uh, you Are guys. You winning, son? Are you winning? <laughs> when your dad comes down and asks if you're winning. Uh, be like, yeah, dad, we're both winning tonight, bro. <laughs> you guys give us your thoughts and the starters down in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed the reaction. Big shout out to my main man, Dan, for joining me tonight and for recommending this. And I'll see you goddamn plebeians right here next time.